Equation of a straight line part 7. What we're going to do in this lesson is look at the alternate form of the straight line equation y minus b equals m times x minus a. So let's look at the alternate form. Say we have a straight line as such and we are given the gradient and we're also given a point and a set of coordinates relating to that point. We can use the alternate form to find out the equation of the straight line in its standard form. And we can use y minus b equals mx minus a, where a and b and m are given. So let's have a look at an example. Find the equation of the straight line in the form y equals mx plus c. And we are given a line with a point and an associated set of coordinates, and we're given the gradient. So in this instance, we'd recognize that we would use the alternate form of the straight line equation, y minus b equals m x minus a, because we can substitute into this equation, rearrange it to then be in this form here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got y minus b. We can enter the value for b, which here is 4. So we can put 4 into the equation. And we've also got a, which is 5. So we can put a into the equation there. We've also got m. We can take m and put this into the equation. Now what we can do is we can multiply out the brackets on the right hand side here. So we've got 2 times x and we've got 2 times minus 5. So that'll be 2x minus 10. We want y equals something on the right hand side, so we need to isolate y here. So we can do this by adding 4 to both sides. These, my, this minus 4 and this plus 4 cancels out. And this minus 10 plus 4 becomes minus 6. Now we've got y equals 2x minus 6, which is in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m is 2 and c is minus 6. Okay, so let's have a, another go. Example 2. Now we're given a negative gradient, m equals minus 0 0.5, and we're given a point with the coordinates 6 and 2. So because we've got the m and we've got a point with a and b, we can use the alternate form y minus b equals m times x minus a. And we're going to substitute in this, so b is 2, so we can put 2 here. A is 6, so we can put 6 here. And m is minus a half. Now I'm going to put the m value as a fraction into this equation. And now we can do as before, multiply out the brackets in the right hand side of this equation. So we've got minus half times x is minus a half times x. And we can multiply a half by 6. And what we're left with here is we've got two negatives. So two negatives become a positive, And 6 over 2 is 3. We need to isolate y so we can add positive 2 to both sides. Because the minus 2 and the positive 2 cancel out. And on the right hand side, 3 plus 2 is 5. And now we've got y equals minus a half x plus 5, which is in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is a half minus a half and c is positive 5. 